Hi, Mikey. You look fantastic. How are you today? Hi, thank you. I'm good. How are you? I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. You are well represented in this household with Scream and Tarantino. Huge fan of you. And I absolutely loved your performance as Anora. It's truly one of my favorite films of the year. I saw it with one of my best friends in Los Angeles, and we've been talking about it ever since. Thank you. <laughs> this was an extremely physical performance for you. You're dancing, you're fighting, you're running, you're literally doing it all. But I'm curious as an actor, what was the most challenging yet rewarding aspect for you in becoming a Nora? Oh, there was so much. I did a lot of research into the sex worker community and was able to meet so many incredible women and discover what that life is like. And uh, since then I've completely fallen in love with that community. And I just have so much respect for, for these people and, and what they do. Um, so that's been a really wonderful part of, of uh, the film. And can you talk a little bit about the choreography? I've heard you in past interviews talk about working with a specific choreographer and doing all of the moves that Anora does in the clubs. Talk about it. Was it actually specific choreography and how much time did you rehearse before filming? Yeah, I worked with um, an amazing dancer, uh, Kennedy Schneider in Los Angeles, who taught me how to be a stripper. She taught me everything, how to give a lap dance how to twerk, how to do pole tricks. And so she, I'm so grateful to her and her dedication and, and patience with me um, because I was really ambitious in what I wanted to be able to accomplish. But I would say that a majority of the training was learning some of those pole tricks. And then also um, we both choreographed uh, a dance that Annie does for Yvonne, like a striptease dance that um, was a really fun part of the film and something that we got to come up with and, and present to Sean. So that was really special. That's cool that you guys work together to present it to Sean. I love that. Well, as much as I loved watching the chemistry between Annie and Yvonne, it is different when Igor kind of walks into the picture. Talk about just developing the chemistry with your male co-stars, because I really enjoyed just watching that progress throughout the film. Yeah, um, Mark Edelstein and Yura Borisov, they're both amazing actors, very kind people, and... Yeah, I mean, I think the chemistry is different with both of them. Um, Mark and I laughed a lot, uh, even if we had trouble communicating. We were constantly laughing, and that really set a great base for um, our characters' chemistry, I think, and sort of a playfulness. And then Yura is someone who I think we developed our friendship uh, sort of over time during filming. Um, and he was always there for me, always supporting me, protecting me in a way which was definitely a specific choice on his end. And I think inherently created some something interesting between us. But they're both very interesting people, wonderful to work with, very surprising actors. Last question for you. I do want to ask about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. What something that Tarantino kind of instilled in you as an actor that you kind of carry on for you for the rest of your career? I mean, I think working on that film, it really sort of, I mean, I was 19 at the time. It was my introduction into film and really set the, set the standard of how I want to feel and my level of excitement going into all of the roles I I play. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I to work with someone with so much passion and love for cinema was really reinvigorating and wonderful. Um, so I learned so much about him and so much from him and I uh, learned a lot from my co-stars as well. So it was it was a great experience overall. Nothing like getting attacked by a flamethrower on screen for one of your first roles. <laughs> Mikey, it was so lovely chatting with you today, and I'm so excited for audiences to see your performance in Anora. Truly one of my favorite films of the year. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much.